happy Sunday. We're back with another informative video. And today we're gonna talk about lymphatic massages. Now this right here is one of my top questions that I get or topics that I get asked questions about. So we're gonna talk about three top questions that people DM me about or my guests ask me about that I'm gonna share and kind of get in with you. So let's dive in. Question number one, when should I get a lymphatic massage? Now, here's my answer. The earlier, the better. You can get lymphatic massages as early as the very next day. The earlier they are, the better, of course. That's great, that's grand, that's what we want. The main goal is to move fluid either through your incision or, or out of your incisions if you have open incisions or through a drain if you have a drain inserted or if your incisions are closed, to move that fluid to your lymphatic system. Fluid buildup can cause seromas. I'll link my seroma video right here so you can get an idea of what seromas are. But that is the main goal, fluid movement. Question number two, how many massages should you get? Now, I'm gonna go a little bit back to tip number one, which is a massage as early as the very next day and every day. So having a massage every day for the first week is ideal, it's great. It's really what you should try to aim for. Is that realistic? Maybe not. I'm a very realistic, practical person or registered nurse, so I like to give practical, realistic suggestions. So to be real with you, you would really have to think about your post-operative care way before you start your surgery uh, process or when you're looking for a surgeon you should be also thinking about your post-operative care so the reality of the situation is if you haven't thought about this before surgery the likelihood of getting a massage every day is very slim you won't be able to just squeeze into a massage therapist to get a massage massage therapists are pretty much booked out months in advance so it just may not be practical to have one every single day Another thing that I don't think people think about is the cost of it, your finances. What does your budget look like? You could pay anywhere between $85 to $180 for a lymphatic massage. You just paid for surgery. You just bought supplies. That might not be, you might not able be able to afford one every single day. And that's all right too. It's a lot of budgeting. It's a lot of thought that goes into having surgery and after surgery. So in reality, most women get massages maybe like twice a week, and that's if they can get into a person to do them. Now, how many massages should you actually get? I would on an average suggest to have at least two massages a week for a total of 10 massages at least. Now, I would talk with your surgeon, I would talk to your um, massage therapist, to see how you're progressing, to see if you need to add more, or to see if you can kind of scale them back a little bit. But it's all gonna depend on a lot of factors. There's no cookie cut number that's gonna go with what people should do because everyone is different, everyone heals pro healing process is different, everyone's swelling is different, somebody may have a seroma, it's a lot. So somebody may have fibrosis, it's a lot. But to give you a number, because I know that's what people are really looking for, two at least two a week for a total of 10 sessions should get you well on your way. Question number three, when can I start doing body contouring techniques? This is a great question and I want you guys to listen up. You should definitely wait until about two or three months before you have any type of body contouring techniques. This includes wood therapy, cavitation, lasering, ultrasounds, all of that stuff or you need to consult your surgeon again to see when you're ready to take that next step. A lot of surgeons know exactly what they did. They're the artists here. So they are really able, or they should be really able to direct you in what you need to be doing post-operatively. Um, you can mess yourself up if you're doing anything too early or before you are cleared to do anything, like wood therapy or your incisions are still aren't healed. So, Body contouring is safe to say, wait at least two to three months before inviting that into your post-operative journey. Question number four, another great question, self-massaging. Self-massaging is very beneficial, especially if you're on a strict budget. 
So check out my girls at Windy City Mechanics on IG. They have an awesome video about how to self-massage yourself, what tools to use, what tools not to use, all the jazz of what areas to focus on. It's a really, really informative video. So again, Windy City Mechanics on IG. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something and I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.